But she doesn't have it signed. I wouldn't talk to the realtor yet yeah, unless it's it. signed. Yeah, it's <laughs> we just have to see if the listing agreement's still in place. Okay. Because if it's not, we just basically say, hey, I can give you this price and you don't have to worry about the realtor no, commission. So Oh, there we go. Yeah. What's going on? Yeah, much. How's it going? Pretty good. Yeah, so, um, right here we, uh, patched up the ceiling a little bit. Oh, shoot. Is the bathroom right up there? The bathroom's upstairs. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. You painting the whole house? No, nah, we about to paint it. Yeah, yo, yo, yo. Oh, shoot. I thought you were saying that this was, like, kind of nice. Like... No, no, it's getting remodeled. Oh, he's gonna remodel the whole thing. Yeah, so we're just gonna paint it up, and then, oh. and then, then, then they're gonna just put it on the market to sell. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's gonna probably knock this all out, new bathtub, new everything. No, nah, they want to just deep clean it. Oh, they're gonna leave it like this. Yeah, it's deep clean it up. The streets a little tight. Yeah, that's yeah. the that's the only thing. Yeah. What is this? Four bedrooms. Oh, one. Or it's just two back. Oh, it goes up there. Nice floor. I think it's two rooms upstairs. Let's see. And this one right here looks pretty good. Oh, shoot. That is a big one. Yeah. It's, what's the point of even painting it? <laughs> oh, no. For the seller, I'm saying. Yeah. I mean, it makes you, you can make money from it, so. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna start the payment today up here. Are you doing it by yourself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, I mean, does he have a price in mind, or? It's a female. Or she? Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want to talk to the realtor or anything, you can. Oh, oh she already has a realtor? Yeah, she has a realtor. Oh, shit. Okay. So, they're going to be on a set price. It, it gets tough with the realtors and yeah. more. But, um, because they're just gonna, the realtor's just gonna push it for it to be listed. Okay. Um, yeah, what's what the sure. realtor thing? I'm not sure. That's well, I mean, no, no. This could look really nice. You know why she's selling or not? Nah? Oh, uh, she, she don't live here. Oh, uh, she's not from here. Yeah, I mean, you can still reach out, still reach out to the realtor, see what price. Okay. they want okay. and then um basically say yeah i wouldn't say nothing else i'd first see what price okay. they want and then let me know i'm a, see, look, look, i'll mm -hmm. run comparables too say? but she doesn't have it signed i wouldn't talk to the realtor yet yeah, unless it's it. signed yes. <laughs> look this is all right this is how we go about it <laughs> all right so if she took it off the market um we just have to see if the listing agreement's still in place. Okay. Because if it's not, we just basically say, hey, I can give you this price, and you don't have to worry about the realtor That's commissions. Okay. So it saves her, it makes her more money in her pocket. To the, my client directly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't, yeah, right don't, right. don't go to the realtor to right, right away. Right. Yeah, okay. Nah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Do you, do you want me to call, you want me, you want me to call her up? You want to do it right now? Yeah, okay. All right, let's do it. Why she go like that? She ain't wanna speak or nothing. Well, she, I mean, she seemed busy, but like, she, I don't know, like. Yeah. Be hard to read people. Yeah, I don't yeah. wanna. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, with her, you can tell like, she's only gonna do things through her realtor. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, I mean, ask the realtor what price. Okay. And then we'll just go from there. I'll yeah. run comparables to see if we can do like a double close where like we have we can have lenders just finance it close it and then we just sell it the same day oh, wow. do something like that okay um but yeah just let me let me know yeah, uh, yeah, let me know yeah. what the agent says okay I, I will for sure yeah. and then uh what would this be your first wholesale deal if we get it yeah for sure all right yeah. i gotta go head to the office but no i appreciate the call uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, talk no, to you no. soon then i'll All see right. ya guys so i am back at the office and if you guys watched my last video about the new development stuff i actually got an email back um after i guess they reviewed the proposal letter that i sent yesterday it was a two-page paper um that i created of what we were going to do with the property what our plans were the amount of units we were planning to put on um 
us wanting to have like a parking space, a sp parking spaces in the back. And they responded back to me and said, basically, um, for us to be able to move forward, we do need like detailed site plans. So that's where the architect comes into place for us to get those plans together. Not exactly sure how much that's going to cost. Um, but the person basically said um, that like the use and like the density, everything's good in regards to that part. But they can't confirm the physical development, like the building itself until we see the site plans. So I'm going to um, send him an email back to let him know that we're going to be working on getting that sent to him as soon as possible. So right now I have to, you know, find a good architect, get the site plans all situated. I also do have follow up calls to do. So um, that's another thing that I have to do. But other than that, nothing too crazy probate letters later on in the day but yeah so just want to give a little update in regards to the new construction piece okay because we have a we have a piece of land we're looking to develop eight unit apartments on it a whole building there and uh i just been calling around to different architects just to see um you know the different prices so on and so forth so i you know found you guys here on google and just wanted to reach out um saw the work you guys have done and was just curious in regards to um the pricing of the design of what you know like how much you guys charge no so it will be four on the first floor and then two on the second and two on the third and the four on the first floor they will each be one bedroom each and then the second floor two bedrooms each and then another two bedrooms each on the third floor as well i mean honestly it depends on the city uh we're pretty much, we have our team all all situated in regards to the construct, construction side of things. So I don't know, in the next couple of months or so, I would say, but uh, in regards to like the site plans and everything, we're hoping to get those as soon as possible. Truly really appreciate it. You have a good one. Woo! That was awesome. I'm excited. I'm excited. All right, I gotta hop on a Zoom meeting. What's going on? Not much, how you doing? Man, I'm living lavish. You guys want to dive into some daily wins? Who's going first? My wins for today, the cold shower. Um, That's always a win because, yo, when I turn it on cold, I'd be like, oh my gosh. And I just tell Siri, turn on that timer and I get through it. And uh, so that's a win. And then another win is... I actually posted two TikToks yesterday, Instagram Reels. And for today, I would say I actually got an email back from um, the main guy down in the city in regards to the land. And he's basically saying like the, the use of what you want to do is basically approved, which is good. But the property development itself isn't approved until we you know he sees the site plan so i was like all right so basically gave us the approval of moving forward with the next steps um the parking lots may be an issue in regards to like the setbacks and stuff he's saying but um it just all depends on the site plans all right guys so i have been literally locked into my computer my laptop here for a good while um sending emails literally calling multiple 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 architects in regards to that side of things and then um follow-ups as well but a little update in regards to the short sale we're working on i just got an email that this uh closing will be in what two weeks so we have a confirmed closing date which is super exciting so that is pretty much all situated so literally the week of the 21st no, the week of the 18th. So next week, we'll have one closing on a fix and flip. The week after that, we'll have, um, which we're selling, like we're selling that fix and flip. But the week after that, then we'll have uh, a closing for us to purchase the, the short sell property. And then another closing that same week for us to purchase a four unit uh, building. So that's really exciting. I'm super excited about that. Um, Things are picking up, you know, the momentum is going and going. So if you guys are a real estate investor or looking to get into real estate, 
just realize you have to work hard each and every day. You got to put in that work and just build that momentum. And it's like dominoes. Like once you start, once you hit like that first domino, then that next domino goes down. And it's, it's just like a snowball effect. So I just want to give you guys that little update. Um, probably still going to be in the office for a little bit more. That's going to be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Go subscribe if you're not subscribed. And with that being said, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.